I'm very happy for you, for um, your accomplishments throughout the year. Thank you, though. I'm glad that, you know what I mean, you're happy. Making you happy is, is what keeping me going. My kids mean the world to me, and one day, you know, I would love for them to come back and live with me, but I'm just proud that I could have them here now. They get to see all the changes that's happening in my life, and I'm just happy. Hello? Yo, what? Yo, what up? I need you to do me a favor. Alex and is MIA. I'm here by myself and I need help. I got a customer on the way. I got a couple customers on their way. I can't tattoo and watch the front. I pay for your cab. Don't worry about it. All right. What time is his first appointment? Um, his appointment called. I told him he was running late. It's 1 o'clock. Alex and are still not here. How many times have I walked in here and there's customers just sitting here on the couch waiting for him? I've been at Black Ink for five to six years, and I recently bought it from the previous owners. Everybody's used to being my friend, and I don't think they really respect me just yet as their boss. Well, I see what happened. It's the fact that both of them is late. Everybody's paying attention. So that's probably getting crazy. Let them rock. I think between the party last night and like this morning with not being here and Alex not being here, I think it's some dirty deeds going down in black ink. I'm not a hater. Go get crazy. Go have a ball. Be here on time. And where's Puma? Puma, he had a doctor's appointment, so he good. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not a This could have sent me naked picture of Alex and said, yo, I'm getting crazy. All right. Yo, but you know the though? When he come in here, Caesar's just gonna ask him what happened, he gonna tell him whatever, and Caesar's just gonna stomp and on him and it. don't say nothing. You gotta let him know now, like when he come in here. <laughs> you gotta start nipping in the butt ASAP. I'm gonna know how I feel. I heard you soft. And he's been late for the past two months. It's way beyond being just late. He's doing all type of What's making it worse is he's starting to get complaints about his work now, too. Oh, he's f***ing Yeah, yeah. Uh, pissing me off, man. Like you said, it's a business, so you got to take care of what you got to take care of, bro. And that friendship get out this. of the way. I got this. Right. I can't wait to see how this pans out. Yeah. Nah, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Ooh. Yo. What's up? Who that? Um, trying to locate my pops. Hearing about, you know, Caesar's story about his pops and all stuff, why he left, it definitely, like, has me a little more determined to find my pops. I haven't seen him since I was, like, 15 years old. So that oh, you child support, right? Hell, child support, none of that. I didn't have no deadbeat pops. My pops was paralyzed. Like, he had, like, two strokes when I was a baby. So he couldn't really, like, be there, but he always made sure I wasn't broke, always made sure I had clothes, food, and all that. But we got into like a little beef when I was like 15, and we just ain't see each other since. Back then, I was 15, my mother was on drugs, I was just reckless. So, you know, I don't want that to be all he knows of his son. Years passed, and I tried to find him like 2000 to let him know when my mother passed away, but the address that I had before, like some lady cursed me out, like, nobody by the name live here, get the out of here. Like, Ain't you scared? Yeah, of course, but I just need to know. I don't even know if he's alive or not. I'm more afraid of him actually being alive. You haven't seen your father for 16 years. What do you say? What do you do? What's up? You know what I mean? Tell me something new about yourself. Oh, you're looking good. Hey, you look like you lost some weight. It's like, really, what do you do? My pops left when I was five. I seen him one more time when I was like 18. By the time I was 21, he was dead. That crushed me. I'm not gonna sit here and lie that I'm not gonna be up if I find out he passed. But I'm first generation. I got no reference to my family history, nowhere. I got no grandparents, no parents, no aunts, no uncles. So like, if my kids could meet their granddad, that'd be dope as because I couldn't. The family, the foundation, and knowing your history, where you come from, is very important. It's cool being a dad, and I just want to find my own. Sound like you got a hell of a journey ahead. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Fat should wear leggings. Fat should not wear leggings. I don't want to see outside. Yo, what up, y'all? Yo, what see, up? it's pop on y'all. What the f you doing, Walt? Why early? F you drinking so early for? 
I don't even want to begin. Walt's been drinking a lot lately. He usually gets drunk, but it's usually like when we're at a party or an event or something like that. But now it's becoming 12 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, like smelling like liquor. It has to be something going on. These last few months ain't really like been the best for me in my life. Why you ain't telling me nothing? I've just been trying to deal with it the best I can. You already know about my pop situation, but I just found out some other that just got me off too. Like, it's not even looking like I'm gonna be able to even go to Jamaica. What, he, he uninvited you too? That <laughs> don't some <laughs> my nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna be sipping Henny because Puma. I'm about to say, Puma got you nah. depressed? Nah, but on some real <laughs> though, like, you already knew, like, I had to go to court for child support. But, like, when I went to apply for my passport, they were saying that, um, we got to take care of that finally. All right, take care of it. How much is it? If you could help me out, that would be dope, but I doubt it, man. It's $130 a week. My son is almost 10. Add that up. I owe like $49,000, $50,000 in child support, to be honest. What? That is a couple of dollars to where I might need to set up like with a lawyer to get like a budget plan and payment plan. Oh, I want to sit down for this one. I want to sit down. Wait, hold on. Sip some of this cup right here. Getting everything in order, so it's like, all right, now this has been accumulating apparently on its own without me even going back and. No, wait, wait, wait. It gets better. Yeah. What? It gets better. This, like I said, there's a few things that's going oh, on damn, with me. Boy, I thought that it's was not it. just my pops no more. It's like the tree. I got a trio. I got my pops going on. I got this child support me up now and all this other stuff and. I'm about to have a baby. Wait. Yeah. Wait. What the f are you yeah. having another kid for? Homie, get your life together. What? <laughs> yeah, you ain't teach nothing. Yo, there's a whole <laughs> bowl of condoms right there. <laughs> and you talking about you got a <laughs> What? This is all the world need. Another walk. Blacked out on Henny before 12. That's what's going on with me. That's what's like me up, and I'm just dealing with all this other Mike, like, you got a lot of Oh, I know. You know what I mean? It's just a little overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just trying to remain focused, not trying to like put point blame or just like, oh man, life is so hard. Why me, God type of bullshit? Cause you know what I mean? Like we grown. Me, I gotta take responsibility of my shit. I'm just trying to like like Tess said, just accept it for what it is. Why the f are you drinking them if you gotta accept it? Because sometimes it's hard, bro. This whoever who said it's gonna be easy. Drinking ain't gonna make it no easier. You need a sober mind. Right now, you gotta figure out how to get this bread, not only for your legal situation, but for your new kids about to come in the world. You're right. I want you that walk. Told y'all about, you know, I'm about to have another baby and all that You about to have another one? Hey, we go. Now, now, what you forgot? Mr. Walter is like Bill Cosby, which is a crock of <laughs> I've never even seen his kids. I've never seen his baby mother. I think he's lying about the whole you said, yo, where we go? Yo, are we gonna get to meet him? I was just playing. I wanna meet your crazy baby mother. I love Zenobia. That was my girlfriend. I was 15. We just grew apart, like as far as that whole phase. But around 2009, you started flirting back and forth for three years, and we've been through a lot of. Mainly on my end because of my selfishness. How you feeling about everything, though? The situation is here now. I really do gotta just fix a lot of. Cause she is a good woman. So you saying my settling there? I mean, it can happen. She knows I love her. I have a feeling this one gonna be a crazy bitch. Out of nowhere, right? Yo, my n I don't know why I got this feeling. She's gonna take the crown from Cassie like, you have nothing on me. <laughs> How you gonna deal with two baby mothers? He's not. He's going to die. They're going to eat you alive. Having two baby moms is definitely going to be rough. It's going to be tough because, you know, they always saying that one of them got to be crazy. But I've always been the exception to the rule, and I'm hoping that that plays again <laughs> in this one. Hey. Everyone, Zenobia, Zenobia. How are you doing? Duchess. Very nice to meet you. Same here. Caesar. Ted. He was like, where did you find this girl? How come nobody's ever heard of her? To meet her now when she like has a big belly and like do next month is like how do we treat this female? Do you guys have any future plans? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Like future plans. Yeah. Don't let him keep you as a baby mother. Um yeah no. We don't do the whole baby mama term and all that stuff no. Oh 
not, not the term, not the term, but we need the ring. The yeah. term, yeah. we need the ring. Yeah. Yeah. What the does that do? It makes her want to stay with you, deal How? with your a little more. I just want to know what the ring means. Like, if I get married to a bitch and I want to another bitch, the ring ain't going to stop anything. Well, you can't marry a bitch. I use that Thank word you. a lot. Thank you. I apologize. I don't mean no disrespect by it. But that said, I don't understand the whole ring and all that other dumb Like, that don't mean nothing. Fuck, congratulations for growing up, Walter. <laughs> maybe, I'll get, maybe I'll get there someday. But for now, <laughs> just wanted to get y'all, let y'all know what's going on. I got you. Meeting the friends, it's great and all of that, but whatever the stereotype of baby mama is, is not me. You knew when I decided I was gonna keep the baby that I wanted us to do this. Like, we not getting any younger. I know what I want. I mean, I know she wants a ring, but I mean, what good is a ring if the mannerisms and the behavior doesn't follow it? As far as putting a ring on it, just, you know, I'm playing catch up. I'm still getting used to everything. You don't think three years? You should I haven't really even know? tried. The argument is not about to put on you. I want so you I to understand. So I, I want you to understand, understand that you have, have no more time. Walter, you have Yeah. Oh, oh. I've been served. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to open it? It has nothing on it. This is, this is a very interesting piece of <laughs> Right. Got it. Nothing. Right. And don't smell it. It might have anthrax. It's too late now. Got all the hands. <laughs> Mystery mail. Dear Mr. Miller, you had recently contacted us to help in search of your father, Ronald W. Miller. Unfortunately, these records indicate Ronald is deceased. Please accept our deepest sympathy. Attach our documents for Ronald W. Miller, as well as people who were once associated with him. I think that you still need to stay positive. Walt. This is my phone, this is my I need a Walter, you need to talk about this. I didn't know what else to do. Like, I had to speak to somebody. I felt like I was about to just have a nervous breakdown. So I called my kid's mother and I spoke to her for a little while. Oh. They found paperwork for my pop. They said he passed away. They said he passed away. He didn't look that much. I just seen that he said it's deceased. They got my all information. They got his old address. They got everything. Like, I don't even know how to feel right now. Like, my whole body just went numb. My whole body just... So much, like, regret, like... You argued over nothing. You let 15 years go by for nothing. I don't wish that on nobody. Nobody. He didn't even know my mother passed. He didn't know He didn't get to meet my kids. I'm about to have a baby. I just found out I lost someone. Ain't that crazy? This might just be a blessing for you, though, because it might show you to create those memories and be more serious. That's when all it I've comes been trying to taking to do. those moments and that time with your children. That's all I've been trying to do. That's all I've been trying to do. I never try to act like I'm the best dad ever. And all that. I'm far from perfect. I got a lot of learning to do. I think that you still need to stay positive. Oh, nah, this is, this is, these are tears of closure, man. It was like, because I already lived like he was already gone. I was already living like I had no pop, so. But now it's just official. That's it. <laughs> Looks like Bryce is coming. Get tractions are getting worse. Zenobia and I haven't really been seeing eye to eye lately, you know, but it's not gonna stop me from being a father, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to be in love with this woman to be a father to her child, you know what I mean? Because that's my child as well. Something like it's about to go down.
nice as hell, y'all. He looks like he's gonna be very tall. His hands and feet are huge. Come on, Bryce, you're not hungry. I just hope he get a little more cockiness on his leg, you know, like, you know, pale. Bryce being born, you know, like, when I finally got to, like, hold him and walk around with him and stuff like that, like, it was just, like, awesome. For that moment in time, it was no worries. It was just, like, everything in the world was going to be fine. Like, it, it, it was nothing that I, I couldn't overcome. It's going to be a lot of good that comes out of this. Once I find out what that whole pop was like, that me up. No, I never really got an official farewell so long or whatever, so like, he telling me he got my pop's ashes and like that, so it's like, come up here to get some type of closure with that whole situation. This neighborhood is definitely, we are not in Kansas anymore. Yo. What up, OG, double OG, triple OG? Okay, what up? What up, man, you chilling? Come on, man, chilling, chilling. Good? Yeah, yeah. First time I met him, you know, we were just talking. It was really awesome, like, filling each other out. So hopefully, like, this time we really talk, like, brother to brother, like, really on some kicking it, you know? That's your uncle, boys. What's up, man? Give me five. That's Uncle Walter. All right? Give me five. Yeah, that's Uncle Walter. Yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted to be an uncle. I think I would be the coolest uncle ever. I swear to God, like, they're going to get to know me very well. Tariq's mom, she's cool. She was actually like my pop's wife at one point. God, thank you, Lord. You look like your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You and Tariq gonna be all right now. Yeah. It felt good. Someone like looked forward to seeing me that much. Like it was cool. This has been a long time coming. Something I've always wanted. We're gonna make this bond like it's supposed to have been. As if we grew up together, you know what I mean? <laughs> Right, let's get some food in our sisters. Let's get some food, because I'm hungry. You know, I live most of my life, like, seriously, like, barely any family. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Now, like, I got a brother. I got nephews. You know what I mean? I got a stepmom. I really got family out there. Oh, this is good. Now you know why I'm calling y'all, boy. Yes, <laughs> y'all, boy. This is Daddy, baby. This is him? Mm-hmm. It was actually like a form of relief to know that my brother had the ashes. I'm up that this is how I got to see him again, but at least I get to say my formal goodbyes and don't just have to keep looking up in the sky and say, dad, 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 you know? I'm just like trying to remember like how he felt, like his skin or how his hands felt, like feel him, like how he felt, his touch or whatever. I mean, I wanted to see it, but now that I see it, like, that just got me upset. My father ain't supposed to be in no wooden box like that. I don't like that. Time I saw my father and we had a little fallout. We said a lot of things that should have not have even been said. And this is how I got to see him in a box. We let 15 years just, just go by for nothing. What are we going to do with him? We're going to do some spread the ashes type. Right, right. We could go to City Island, keep it in the Bronx. All right. We could do that. We can actually say goodbye now. We're together now. If for some reason my pops was blessed to look down on us, I'm pretty sure he's smiling. Like, at least my boys are together. I'm happy. How was school today? Good. Good. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Doing that good old homework, that's what's up. 
I got my kids with me today. I wanted to talk to them about, you know, puberty, birds and the bees, and stuff like that. I never really had to do this before, you know, I'm still learning the, this whole dad role. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a touchy subject, you know? I'm happy you're here, because I need to talk to you guys about some things. Um, DJ, remember when you asked me? Daddy, what's puberty? Remember? Yes. We you know, I found this like cool little book to talk to you guys about it. I think it's dope. Where did I come from? Where did I come from? Move on. Yeah. It's good stuff, look. You know this is good, look. Facts of life without any nonsense, you know what I mean? You guys, you know? The babies and you were formed from male and the female when they get together and yeah yeah. What happened? La 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 la. You know TMI. But you gotta learn about it. Look, it's cool. Look, there's all kinds of different crazy ways. You <laughs> oh <laughs> no! No! So no. inappropriate. <laughs> Close the book. They just got all embarrassed. They want to start covering their faces like, oh my God, ah. Change the page now. Yeah. Bye. Oh my God. Change oh, God. it. Change. change it to a good place. Change it to a regular. What you doing? I'm trying to talk to them about the birds and the bees. I found this book online. It's inappropriate. And it's Dr. Spock. Oh, wow. <laughs> I told you. What the f is Walt showing his kids? I understand trying to be a positive dad, but looking at this f you're wilding out. These motherfuckers are gonna become monks and priests. You're bugging. Hey, what do you want me to do? They're laughing at you. You're old right now. Let me tell you guys, I'm gonna teach y'all about the birds and bees, right? Caesar, no, 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 no. Don't say nothing stupid, Caesar. Please don't. What? Don't listen to me. No, 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 Caesar. Abort, abort, abort. No, I'm gonna tell you right now, the birds and bees are a bunch of bull. You don't listen about the birds and bees, all right? <laughs> this is how it go. You do anything wrong, your daddy gonna kill you. So you can't have sex till you 40. <laughs> and you can't have sex till you like 18 or something 18. like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's different for boys, you know what I mean? So you, don't, you don't need to have yeah, that, yeah, you know what I mean? That, All the ratchet girls, you know, they do that. But you, you stay good. Now, men now, you know, sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> no, Just don't bring no good. babies home. See, exactly. Oh, man, now that that's over, like, I actually got to start thinking about some dating like that. Like, oh, man. Great job. I'm out of here. You're doing a great job messing your kids up. Oh, when are you supposed to have sex? At what age? Damn, see, she remembers she even took your advice. Four years old. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Bro. See, they left here with something, bro. You're crazy, Walt. Thanks for the talk, C's. Yeah, you better burn that book for the cops arrest you. <laughs> Yo, call Walt and find out where the he is. Yo? Nah, I'm with C's. So we about to come out at you real quick. What's the address? What's 126th Street? What's that between? Broadway and Oak Road. I'm not that far. All right. What address did he just say? That's the projects, bro. Teddy and I decided to check up on Walt because clearly something's going on. But what the f is he doing giving me the address in the projects? Like, I thought he lived in Jersey with his kids. What the f Yo, what's up, man? What's up, bro? What's, up? what's this? It's Louis. What the f Bro, what the f are you doing in the projects? I'm just renting a room in the back. What the f do you mean you're renting a room in the projects? Bro, what are you even doing back in the projects? I was worried about Walt before, but now it's like, it is really something going on with him. I didn't even know y'all was gonna pull up. I'm like, what? <laughs> Coming over? We sitting now talking about that that happened in the shop the other day. It was kind of different, bro. Yeah, you ain't never flip on me like that before, bro. I didn't expect it to get to like that either, but I mean, like, I have been going. Why are you here? Exactly. Like, nobody knows what the is going on with me. Like, I had to leave my crib out in Jersey. Where the your money go, bitch? You know, I wasn't the best financial mother 
My credit was disgusting, so. So your kids are living here? No, I had to send the kids away. What? Yeah. I sent them to live with their mom in Illinois. I mean, it was like the only choice I had. Yo, this is some heavy <laughs> Walt takes pride in being a single father, essentially raising those kids on his own. The fact that he sent them away, Walt must have been really, really desperate. First, he sent Adija out there. Me and Ty were just running around, little rooms here and there. But then it was like, I can't be having my son running around like this with me while I'm trying to get my together. So send him out, like, right before the school year started. Sending my kids away, the hardest thing I had to do. Each day is, like, eating at me more and more. It's messed me up, because, like, I never wanted to disappoint them like this. I never wanted to let them down like this. And I did. You should have hollered at us. Yo, my you think this shit is easy to sit with? Like, yo, there's nothing I love more than my kids, yo. You think this shit was easy to just sit with? You think I like this shit? This shit ain't cool with me either. But I'm, I don't want to be nobody's burden, man. Let me sit with my own shit. Maybe this is what I need to do. And I ain't saying that I'm happy about this shit. I'm proud of it. I'm not. Look at you. I'm not happy that y'all try to I'm, I'm mad and bad. Y'all talking about y'all coming. I'm like, what the I'm going to do? I ain't want y'all to come here. I ain't want y'all to me like this. That's why I kept it away from y'all. This why you've been drinking a lot more lately? Yeah, I have my drink here and there, but I ain't been doing no dumb You think that drinking is helping you, bro? It's not. It's not easy, bro. But that's one of your problems, though, bro. You can't say it's not. You got to ditch that for a little while. You might need to detox your whole soul. In all the years I knew Walt, he was never one to share his personal problems. But I guess carrying all this burden has finally done his toll. My brother has hit rock bottom. We got to give him the help he needs. Listen, I know you don't want to hit but I'm signing you up for some help. When in a script situation, we're gonna figure it out. I appreciate y'all, man, for real. I really do. But I'm sorry that I was selfish in how I handled what I was handling. Love you, bro. No matter what you're going through, you can holler at us, bro. I'm dead ass. Photos looking good. My vision came to life. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Whoa. Welcome. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. So tonight, you know, it's like my first art show in quite some time. You know what I'm saying? I'm quite excited. I've been working on my sobriety for like a few weeks now, and I just really been trying to just channel my focus onto my work. You know what I mean? I'm just excited to finally show my friends what I've been doing. And hopefully, who knows, I'll sell some photos and make some money. Woo! Champagne. Thank you, friend. It's in the Bronx, like overlooking at High Bridge, which is a beautiful day. This is amazing. Appreciate you. Thank you. Now, I don't even take it lightly that my mistakes causing me to lose the crib, causing me then to having to send the kids to stay with their mom. I'm just trying to just to prove to them and to myself, really, that I'm moving in the right direction. Oh, hey, that's so nice. What's up, bro? Appreciate y'all pulling up, man, for real. Look good. Definitely. Walt's gallery is super dope. I'm super proud of him, especially after finding him hotter than the projects, drinking his life away. But I'm really impressed that he put this gallery together. Who titties are those? I wasn't trying to really, like, showcase the titties, Caesar. She got some big-ass hands, whoever that is. You got hand She got big hands, little tits. <laughs> That's what you should name that one. Big hands, little tits? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might soak these souls right there. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna take that right there. That's a good look. I appreciate that, definitely. Uh, take a picture of me and then put me as the iron on the mother <laughs> Can I get everyone's attention, please? First and foremost, I just want to say thank you. Like, seriously, thank you from the bottom of my heart for y'all all pulling up tonight. As of lately, I've been going through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not too long ago, I had to send my kids out to live with their mom out in Illinois, it kind of like threw me in a little funk. 
you know what I'm saying, and like really like mess me up. But this right here is just the start up of like what I'm trying to do. So I just hope that you guys enjoy my work. Thank yeah. you. To see Walt get back into photography and put on a big ass event like this, it's a big ass deal. I think if Walt keep pushing forward and going the direction he's going, he'll get his kids back in NYC living with him. That one. You can have it if you want it, but that's what all prints is 50 cash. Okay. I'm gonna... Ow! It's not bad, though. It's not that's a good look for work. Definitely. Home sweet home, baby! These little lovelies belong right up here. Yo, man, I'm feeling so happy right now. Been in this crib for about two weeks now. Good to be out the projects. Still a lot of work I gotta do around here, but it's good enough for some house guests, I can say that much. <laughs> hey, my baby! How are ya? Great. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! My son Ty, my daughter Deja is here from Illinois, visiting for the weekend. I miss my babies, man. I've been going to see them while they've been in Illinois with their mom, but I'm just glad that I finally got a nice spot for them to come and visit and actually call home. Welcome to our new home. This house is big. I got a nice setup for y'all. Look, Khadija, Ty, you know me, y'all can choose whatever bed you want. I gave y'all the TV and all that stuff. Got your own bathroom. You can take all your poops down here. Oh. When I was first looking for my new crib, I thought about, you know, moving into the city. Then I was like, nah, I want to make sure my kids got some space when they come stay with me. So, the burbs it was. You know, they teenagers now, you know what I'm saying? They don't always want to be a big dad. They need their space. Space is Jersey. This is why we came to Jersey. This is what you get when you come to Jersey. Look, nice little size kitchen. Hey, you know what I mean? Is there anything in the fridge? I said, you worried about you hungry? What's wrong with you? <laughs> this big ass house, all you worried about is the food. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like I'm over here trying to impress you with all this. Oh, then you can worry about what's in the fridge. It's a good thing to say at the end of the damn tour, because I would have been upset. Like, you're not even impressed. What's in the fridge? Got one more surprise for you. I'm going to show y'all right now. <laughs> you don't love this. <laughs> Whoa. This is all us, too. This is all us, too. We get to have some barbecues back here. I'm thinking about putting a pool probably in the corner. Some it's nice, right? It's much different from the city, from the Bronx, right? We're in Jersey now. You know, the challenges I've been facing this last year are like some of the hardest I ever had to face in my whole life. I was at my lowest, like for real. Just drinking, my credit was all up, having to send the kids to live with their mom. I didn't even think I was even gonna make it through all this. But I got here. I miss you guys, like, a lot. Yes. It's just dope having y'all here right now. That was like one of the worst things for me to have to really deal with and accept was just having to send you guys out there to live with your mom and all that stuff. But I had to do what was best for y'all. I'm very happy for you, for um, your accomplishments throughout the year. Thank you, though. I'm glad that, you know what I mean, you're happy. Making you happy is, is what keeping me going. My kids mean the world to me. And one day, you know, I would love for them to come back and live with me. But I'm just proud that I could have them here now. They get to see all the changes that's happening in my life, and I'm just happy. You're getting so big. <laughs> I don't want you to grow up anymore. I just need you to stay like this. You've gotten too big already. Like, I'm going to just... get older, and I'm going to get married, and I'm going to have children. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to go to college first? I'm going to get older and get married. School. Right, Ty? Yeah. School. Bring it in. Come on. Let's school on three. <laughs> One, two, three. School. Yes. Hi, babe. Hey, there she go. What's up, baby? Everybody, this is my lady, Jess. What up, Jess? Hi, everybody. What up, Jess? You all got a girlfriend. Where the f*** you been hiding her? This little sneaky mother He's probably smart. Keep her the f*** away from us. This is our friends. This is all my friends. Cats out the bag, y'all. Yes, I'm seeing someone. Just cause my baby cakes, my chocolate thunder. We've been dating off and on for a few years now, and you know, I think it's time to finally introduce her to the friends. You know, to my crew, to let everybody get to meet her and see what's going on in my life. How long y'all been together? We had some time. For a long minute now. Well, we were friends for a long time. I met some of y'all at some parties. We about to get up out of here in a little while. Where y'all going? A little dating date. date. Yes. Y'all like two old people. 
<laughs> I know you, though. I do know you. You helped Duchess jump me on that ski slope. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey. Hey, there you go. What's up, baby? I took some time off for work today because I promised Jess that I would meet her son. And there's no way in the world that I'm about to mess this commitment up. Xavier, this is Walt. Known me and Walt been dating for quite some time now. So, I brought she you here. She wanted us to officially meet. Yeah, so you guys can hang out, because I already met his kids. You met his kids? Yeah. Wow. I'm really excited for what to meet Xavier. Xavier and I even came up with a little prank to see, you know, how far he's willing to go. Cause you know, Ward thinks he's hilarious, and he is. He's a little funny, but not as funny as us. Pretty sure you got some questions. You're right, I got a ton of questions. Yeah. You, you want to shoot around and let's talk about that? Wow, yeah, we can shoot around. What's up? Take the jacket off. Be... You want to take the jacket off? Yeah, you can shoot around first. Yeah. Child. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh that's, that's light. That's no, that don't count. That don't count. Oh, so it's like that, huh? Xavier looks like he's a little extra protective over his mom. I ain't mad, though. I ain't mad. I'm standing. I would be the same way, too. I do this for a living. This is what you do? Huh? I don't necessarily do that. So what you doing on your off times? I do stand-up comedy. So, you know, I make people laugh. Recently, my mom and I decided, like, OK, no more just being friends, like, you know? So we don't want to just make it about us, because it's not. We understand we have a big blended family here, so we got to make sure everything is right. Oh. All right, so you know, if you want to take it to the next level, I'm going to make a proposal. If you win, you can have my mom. If you don't, I get to choose whether you date my mom or not. Are you sure you want to do that? I ain't worried. Yeah. I know my mom is strong. I'm a big dude. All right, I said I wasn't worried at first, but I'm a little older. The homeboy right now. This young kid, he got all of his energy and vibes, and he got some skills with him too. But don't worry, just baby, I got this. Don't worry, I got this. Yes. Oh. Okay, X. Shaking and banging. Come on, babe. All right. Ready, ready. You ready? Step up. You ready? Come on, come on, come on. Good job. Okay. Buzzer beater, that's some bull I'm gonna lose my one point. Young boy got it, I'm gonna give him that, man. I just hope that he don't try to throw this in my face. And hold me down, and have some pity on me, because I'm still gonna date his mom anyway. You know what, I came to a decision <laughs> that, you know, I might need to get a ringer, man. It's too late for that. <laughs> we was just teasing you, baby. I'm gonna allow you to date my mom. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, I got your blessings? Yeah, man. That's good, man. Thank you. Because I didn't want to have to stick behind your back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stick behind my back. Gotcha. Okay, man, we in Cleveland. Gotta let them know how New York do it. I'm excited. Beautiful night, right? I know. Ooh, I'm so high right now. You don't understand. Just coming out here. I already know that's the reason why I went on that stage and did what I did anyway, because I had that confidence. You know, and now our relationship is super strong. So tonight I set something up real special and sweet for my baby girl to show how much I really care about. Like, see the way? Yeah. What's going on? What's this? I told him hearts. He said big candles and hearts, man. I got a big ass slong. I'm just gonna have to hope she don't notice it. God damn it. See it? Turn around. Look at it. Look. I know. This is beautiful. This is just the I beginning, know. though. Wait, there's more? There's, there's something else waiting for us up there. I got more surprises. The night's just getting started, baby. It's just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, my god, babe! Private dinner in front of the museum. This is insane. This is beautiful. Wow. What really outdid himself? I mean, he's romantic, but this is like super over the top. Like, no one has ever done anything so special like this for me. Who's almost done? See, we over here chefing it up. 
I can't take it. Mm. This is too much. Mm. You need to explain to me how you did all of this. The dudes at the, um, the comedy club, they was telling me that this is one of the most romantic spots. Believe you me, I done busted my ass to make this happen. Lucky for me, though, the museum folks got so spot seeing the grown ass man cry. That's what I had to do to make all of this work. You like to pretend right now. Ooh, OK. <laughs> You just don't understand, like, how you make me feel. I never thought that, besides my kids, I never thought that there will be anybody that I could truly love. Like, every time I, I try to doubt it, you give me another reason why that I shouldn't doubt it. Mm -hmm. You give me another reason why I should. Want to embrace it, want to keep it in my life, and just want to do everything I can to make sure it stays in my life. What I'm about to ask you, Jess, is 100% from the heart. <laughs> you are my home. Like, there's not no place. I've never, I've never had a home in my life. I've moved around everywhere my whole life. But with you, I'm, I'm home. I'm happy. I'm at peace. No worries. Anything. Jessica <laughs> Contreras. <laughs> Will you marry me? time of my life, I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. I had the ring for a little minute. I just didn't know when, though. And seeing her pop up here in Cleveland, it was like, yo, bro, like, she's showing you that she's here for me. So, yeah, go ahead and do it. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to unite Jessica and Walter in marriage. Do you have any words to say to each other? Yes. You are everything to me. You made me believe in love again. You make me a stronger person, and you protect me. We want to continue to build our home together. I love you completely. I love you. Thank you. I love you with all my heart, Jessica. Like, you told me that I no longer have to live the life that I lived. That was one of the most powerful things anybody said to me. I promise you that I've been dedicated every day of my life to you. Everything I do is much better because of you. Okay. I promise you, I'll always be the best man for you. It's okay. I feel unstoppable with you. I feel like can nobody f with me. I feel like nobody could touch me. I love you. Always remember that. Do you, Walter, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Jessica, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 
his hair and do it and then put it on. Fits perfect with it, too. Yep. Ah, yes. By the authority vested in me by the state of Hawaii, I now pronounce you both husband and wife. Ted was saying something about a situation. Yeah. You know how many shops we done own and how many shops we got right now. And I've never had a situation like this. Somebody broke into 125th. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody broke into 125th Street with all the cameras and everything else around it. Yes. And that's just the beginning. What did they, what did they take though, like? Bro, it took all the body, because you know we got real gold. So that's like 2,000 right there. They went in the register, took 5,000 out of that Merchandise, all types of bro. Out of all the shops that we have, the one on 125th Street get robbed, like that is damn near impossible. Like there's a dead boat on a lock downstairs. The shop is on the second floor. There's tenants in the building, 125th Street is so busy. Like there's no way no stranger just randomly walked into that shop like that. Somebody had to have the key. I'm just waiting to get the footage back, man, but it seems like an inside job, bro. Who the f was working that day? Walter. First and foremost, man, I just really want to just be honest with you. I never had the chance to talk to you yet. What's good, man? Talk to me. The whole bull with the whole registered man, I definitely had something to do with that. So I tried to, like, fix it up later on when I got the bread to put it back. I made an impulsive move because I needed to take care of some, some things as far as all my personal concerns. And I used the shop money to deal with my personal issues until I'm able to, you know what I mean, reimburse the shop. And I take responsibility for that. But I'm not about to take responsibility for some that I didn't do. I tried to do some dumb but I had nothing to do with that breaking, bro. The register was an isolated event. A week or so later, the breaking happened, but that I know wasn't me. Now all of a sudden, y'all trying to say this is me? Knock it off, bro. Life has just been catching up to me, man. I'm not asking for any pity, nothing. If you to sit here in my face and tell me that you did steal, but you didn't break into the shop, I'll just slap the shit out you right now. Do you know that that's embezzlement? Bro, I know you put your life on the line for me, my I never meant to disrespect y'all. I'm sorry, bro. I don't want to believe you did this, bro, but for all the evidence is pointing towards you. You know what I'm saying? It's a video. That's your wolf, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's, I know you know. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Yo, I'll bro, let you talk, bro. I can let you I'll know let you talk, bro. I'll let you talk, right. bro. All the evidence is pointing towards you. For right now, I think the honest thing for you to do is just stay away from us until we figure it out, bro. I can definitely respect that, but that wasn't me. I can't take responsibility for what I didn't have anything to do with. Listen, we ain't even trying to hear all that talk. Prove that ain't true, bro. Prove that yo, Whatever I have to do, whatever yo, I have I to do. Yo, listen, listen, I just said I ain't trying to hear that talk. Prove that ain't true, because honestly, been through too much. All right, like I said, the whole, yo. like I said, like I've been telling you, I take full responsibility, and the difference between that, the difference that that, that I took, sees, I could give that to you right now, bro. You think, I, you think it's my money? No, it's not. So I'm just trying to make that. anything well, right. Look at my yo, eyes. I've been for you here forever, bro. You're with your own right. family, and I'm, man, I'm, I ain't hearing it. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. If you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.